The North Coast 500, Scotland's answer to the famous Route 66 in the US, is a 500-mile scenic route that starts in Inverness and winds clockwise around Scotland's remote northern highlands, taking in beaches, lochs, castles, mountains, and mile after mile of jaw-dropping scenery. As we had just spent some time in Skye, we skipped the official routes drive across the country from Inverness and joined the NC500 at Loch Caron, just in time to pilot our mint green Fiat 500 rental across the most notorious section of road on the whole route, the Bialuch Nuba, a winding single track road through the mountains of the Applecross Peninsula, featuring hairpin bends and 20 degree gradients. For our first day on the NT500, we were headed for the small town of Letters, just south of Ullapool, a total distance of 150 miles, which took us basically the whole day, leaving Sky at 8 in the morning and arriving in Letters around half past 5 in the evening. The town of Applecross consists of a single street of houses, with a good pub, and a little further down the road, a smokehouse, where we bought smoked salmon and smoked cheese. You won't find a lot of good coffee on this route, so take it if you find it. Likewise, grocery shopping facilities are minimal, so either come prepared or stock up as you go in the small shops that you find along the way. What are we making for supper? Uh, a favourite when self-catering on holiday. Yeah. Uh, roast tomatoes and onions and garlic with some sausages. Oh, Ooh, lovely. on a bit of lentils. Nice. That's a new addition. Nice twist. Mm. Some beers from the Sky Brewery. Ooh, there's a nice blavin. Ooh, and we have this smoked garlic from the Applecross Smokehouse. Let's see what that's like. Yeah. All right, we are on to day two of our North Coast 500 adventure. So today we're going to backtrack a little bit, go and check out the Misak Falls, and then we're going to drive further up north to Alapool, go and see what's happening there. Uh, yesterday we did a lot of driving, so today we've taken it a little bit easier, slept in, made some breakfast. We're enjoying our cute uh, Airbnb that we're staying in. Very impressive falls behind me. Uh, it's a lovely little walk, very short walk, only about half a k to a k. You can do it in about 20 minutes, 30 minutes, uh, but well worth it. from inside our car <laughs> to a delightful little picnic in at Achnaherd Beach on the what peninsula? Korag. Korag Peninsula. Korach. Korach Peninsula. Beautiful spot. Um, and what are we eating today? We've got salmon and brie, both Oof. from the Apple Cross Smokehouse. Yeah, both heavily smoked. The, mm. the salmon is both whiskey cured and peat smoked. So it's about the most Scottish uh, salmon you can get. And uh, that's our view. Spectacular. Look at that beach. Hmm. Okay, we made a spontaneous decision to head up uh, Stack Polly, which is this uh, obscurely shaped mountain that we're heading up now. It's got these fantastic craggy formations up at the top, made of sandstone. Oh, it's about a two to three hour hike, five k's, and a beautiful afternoon for it. And the fantastic thing about hiking in Scotland is you can head off on a hike at six in the evening, and you know you've got four hours until the sunset, so it's wonderful. Mm -hmm. 
Made it almost to the top. Let's go up. Awesome views. Yeah. Wow. Those views are amazing. Apparently the other side is a little harder to get up. <laughs> Woo. Yeah. Oh man. I mean it doesn't actually get better than that. That is amazing. Oh, that's good. Beautiful one hour hike up to the top here. Owen 100% says go. On the third day of our trip, we headed north, following the coast for much of the route, and driving through a series of small villages on our way to Durness to see some sights, and then on to Talmine, where we were spending the night. Progress on the windy roads was slow as we dodged other cars, sheep, and the odd highland coo. Okay, it's our second day uh, traveling around the North Coast 500 and we've made it to the northerly end of the country. We're in Durness. It's a tiny village. Actually, everywhere here is <laughs> tiny. Um, if you see coffee or food, stop and eat or drink because there won't be more later. Same goes for toilets, yeah. petrol and ATMs. Uh, you've been warned. Yeah, groceries. Uh, groceries too. <laughs> but beautiful, you're rewarded with beautiful scenery. Beautiful scenery. Um, including the Sango Beach behind me, which according to the sign is award-winning. Not sure what award it won, but it was probably coldest water. <laughs> uh, yeah, we're off now to see the Smoo Cave. It's one of the local highlights. And then we're going to keep going to Talmine, which is our next stop uh, for the night. Uh, yeah. <laughs> How cute. Oh, jeepers. Oh. Wow. Watch the door, it's short. <laughs> Lovely. This is the buyer. What a cute little space. Beautiful. Look at that view. We decided we were up far enough north, we should uh, take a look at Ben Hope. It's the northernmost Munro. It's about 900 meters odd in elevation, 950 I think. And it's quite a short walk. It's actually one of the shortest walks you can do to get up a, a Munro. It's only about three and a half k's up, three and a half k's down. Uh, which is quite unusual because we parked right at the base here and it's obviously going to be a very steep ascent.
on top of Ben Hope. Lovely views to the surrounding moorlands. You can see locks, you can see out to sea. Beautiful, cold. Yeah. Uh, but another great day in Scotland to be climbing mountains. Now, 11.15. So about two and a half hours up. Two and a half to the top. We're gonna see if we can take a slightly more circuitous route down that's gentle on the knees. Uh, look at those views. Last little bit to the very top. Famous local beverage, whiskey and iron brew. Let's do it. Sugar free, so we want to be unhealthy. Local whiskey, trying out. Brew. Managed to drink most of it. Tastes mostly of iron brew. <laughs> <laughs> I guess that flavor will uh, uh, dominate anything. On day five, we left Tolmine and headed to Thurso, going as far as John O'Groats and also stopping at Dunnet Head. We're in John O'Groats and we've walked around and had a look at the iconic, uh, not a flagpole, like a direction pole. What do you call those things? Where everyone poses for photos. Uh, it's raining quite a lot, so we're struggling to do much, but we want to take a walk and have a look at the Duncan's Head stacks, which are some sea stacks about uh, a mile from here. And we're just debating how wet we're going to get if we take a walk out the car. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Owen says go. And that's how quickly the weather can change here. Yeah? Suddenly from pouring rain, it's a glorious day. We're walking along the coastal path. We've seen puffins nesting. You can see um, the beautiful stacks behind me and uh, sheep grazing merrily. Beautiful out here at the Duncansby Stacks near John O'Groats. Lovely warm day all of a sudden. <laughs> That's Scotland for you. Thurso in Scotland and we decided we have to have some Indian. So we've ordered some chicken tikka uh, balti. balti and some lamb tikka vindaloo. Let's have a little taste. <laughs> Gotta eat with the hands. Durban style. How many bank rides? I've had like my body weight into sweets on the journey. Yeah. I don't know if that's a problem. <laughs> They're not messing around, they've been to Lewis. Proper Indian food in Thurso in the north of Scotland. Delicious. <laughs> <laughs> on our last day on the North Coast 500, we headed south from Thurso, back to where the route began in Inverness, making an extra stop at Loch Ness. Quick stop at the end of the North Coast 500 route into Inverness, the capital of the Highlands. A little bit drizzly, <laughs> uh, but we're going to take a little walk around Inverness and see what we can see here. Maybe check out the river, the castle, the cathedral, and some shops. See what's here. Let's go. That's exactly it. Yes, we did come to Loch Ness. And no, we didn't see Nessie. <laughs> but we did see Urquhart Castle. And the beautiful loch. Yeah, it's gorgeous. And, uh, and some rain. let's go see it. Let's. 
Let's go. <laughs> yeah, nice. After six days and 500 plus miles on the road, it's time to head home. Please remember to like this video if you enjoyed it and consider subscribing to my channel. Owen says go.